Some tears in my eyes. Great song by uh, by Johnny Burnett. So um, uh, this tune's in the key of E. Um, the scale for that in first position, where most of this solo is played, um, is like this: uh, four sharps, F, C, G, and D. <laughs> the scale in the E major arpeggio. So at about the uh, 27 or 28 second mark in the song, the solo begins. We'll start with the G sharp, and we're going to climb um, up to this C sharp in the scale. Right. And at last pass, um, after playing C sharp, we come back to B and then climb from G sharp to B chromatically. So um, I think the, f the first note of the solo, one, two, three, four, one, ba da ba da 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 ba da 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 Yeah, so it's in the end of one, one. Making that B happen on the, on the, uh, the downbeat of that third bar. Um, so when you take that slowly, it'll end up looking like this. I'm sorry, from this B to this E. Um, next phrase, we'll start on B and climb up uh, what amounts to be mixolydian in the key of E. So we'll start on the B note. Right. And now we're going to outline a B dominant 7 arpeggio. So it couldn't be any more straight, straightforward as far as uh, the note choices are concerned. Uh, the chord and the harmony. Uh, B9 or B7 and um, and they're just riffing on right from there the harmony changes to E in the bass in the bass the harmony is E it's just an E chord um, and we'll have uh, a similar sort of um, uh, motif happening with the solo so now starting on this B we're going to have an E major arpeggio finishing on this A to transition us to an F sharp seven, no, G sharp seven arpeggio. So let me take that pass again, starting from the B seven chord, so we can kind of tie everything together. We'll have. Now the E arpeggio. Okay. A trill between B and C sharp. G-sharp stays, now is a common tone, and is going to form, uh, like I was just mentioning, a G-sharp dominant 7 arpeggio. You can also think of this chord as an E augmented 9, um, G-sharp being the third, B-sharp, or C, being the sharp 5 of the augmented chord, and then uh, F-sharp being the ninth. Either way, it's going to resolve you to an A major triad. Um, so, uh, one last time. This next riff is a little bit tricky to execute cleanly. 
you have your first finger preparing as a bar on uh, the fourth fret of, of the B string and the G string. Uh, D, uh, D, sorry, D sharp and B are the two notes. Um, we're going to trill now between C sharp and E and then this barred portion here. Is that how it goes? It does, but hold on. Uh, start with C sharp and E and then trill. But cleaner than that, what is wrong with me today? Alright, from here. Um, a and C sharp, G sharp and E. Keep your hand where it is and strike G sharp and B. So the melody really is going down, but we're harmonizing it. They were. A little more interesting to listen to. So if I put all that stuff together from the, uh, the top of the solo, um, let's try to play it slowly together. Um, two, three, four, one. Again, it's a, it's a mixolydian riff um, when the harmony goes back to that B7 to finish off the progression. There's the chord that's happening. Yeah. Um, so the last run we're going to have, um, we'll start on B. Dotted chord notes. slower um, explanation of that last part. So um, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp. Let's go with the Mixolydian scale. So. G sharp, A, G sharp. Right. F sharp, D sharp. From here, E to C sharp, B, E. I can't not get all of my notes today with this pick. Let's probably warm up first before recording these silly things. Always warm up, always. Scale work, arpeggios. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's run through the whole solo again at a slower tempo first, and then we'll bring the whole thing up to uh, around the actual recorded tempo, which is a million. Okay, um, to start off with. <laughs> Sprint. One, two, one, two, three, four, one. 